Okay, great. Um, so just about what we do. So basically, in one sentence, we have an injection that can increase the volume of fat. And uh, well, why is that interesting? Uh, we tend to view fat negatively, but you see fat is the ideal material um, for a plastic surgeon to remodel of the, fa the face and the body. So it, it's a platform technology with a lot of different applications. Um, it's true 90% of the market, it's really more in aesthetics. Uh, but there are therapeutic indications as well. Uh, so then really the question was, um, what application is the easiest and quickest to market, um, especially looking at the regulatory strategy? And this is how we ended up focusing on facial aging. Um, and here you can really see the root cause of the problem. As the face ages, fat will start losing volume. This causes facial sagging and wrinkles. Um, you can just think of, look at a child at five, six years old, he has these really big cheeks and as the person ages, well, the face starts falling, it all comes down to a loss of fat. And um, it's typically treated with fillers like hyaluronic acid, which they inject to increase the volume of fat, uh, actually to, to replace the volume that was lost in fat. Um, it lasts a few months, maybe up to a year, uh, but it's not really the ideal, uh, let's say, consistency. Um, and he here's where we come. We come with a better natural solution. It is your patient's own tissue that gives the result, and it lasts two to three times longer. So you're looking at a result of um, a year and a half up to two years. Um, so getting into China and, and how we actually um, ended up being so focused on that market. Um, so first of all, so we raised the Series A of three million. And it was just with a single uh, Chinese investor, a uh, high net worth individual. Um, basically, they were active in the space. They were looking at um, growing and expanding more into, let's say, the more medical and clinical side. Um, and they actually invited the team over after we closed the funding. Uh, and this was really our first trip to China. It's a completely foreign land. We had no idea. So this is uh, me with my uh, uh, co-founders uh, over there um, and we're at a very early stage at, at, at this point. We basically had just gotten, let's say, the first um, uh, proof of concept in animals and we're uh, getting moving ahead and okay, how can we scale this up in the manufacturing? What does the regulatory landscape look like? Um, and we always took, let's say, a pretty global view to our development. Um, because there are, let's say, there can be some very big differences between um, how you will test it and get it approved in Europe, the US, uh, and China. Um, and actually, even how your product will be used by consumers, it can be completely different uh, in China as compared to Europe or the US. Uh, so let's say, I think my first recommendation is um, if you, you're interested in that market, because uh, everybody is, um, you have to first assess and see um, if there's really the demand and what is different as compared to, to, to Europe and the US or other places where you, you, you're pursuing uh, to expand. Um, so we, we did get, uh, let's say, this funding and, uh, and the way I kind of looked at it is all the startups, they tend to focus on, on the US um, and not too many people were looking at going to China. And when you look at the invest, venture investment capital, um, about 40% of venture capital is invested in the US and US startups. The other 40% comes from China, and that leaves the, the, the rest 15, 20% uh, in Europe. So we felt, uh, well, we already had a good Chinese partner, um, and this is why we also felt, okay, we should um, look at this market and, and see, uh, better understand it and see how we can also continue developing there and raising capital there. Um, so then this opportunity came came kind of out of the blue um, in 2008-18. Uh, basically, pretty much every year there seems to be a road, chip, uh, road show, um, but this is rather sponsored um, and organized by the Chinese government. And it can be a number of different cities. Uh, basically, they're looking at bringing in um, some talent, so entrepreneurs which have uh, some interesting technology that may or may, may not exist uh, in China. 
Um, and if you do get selected in this, it will be a fully sponsored trip that will last a week, maybe even two weeks. Um, and it's an excellent occasion to really go to the country uh, to see what's different, to understand um, who would be might be a good good partner, go see some of the companies uh, there. Um, so we did this first trip, and this is really was a, it was a first exploratory trip the, that we had. The one we did with our founders before, uh, that was more for fun, just to see our, our investor there. Um, so we didn't get any investment out of this one, uh, but we, we did make some really useful contacts, um, which actually led to the next thing that happened uh, in 2019. Um, 